let's talk about expected topics for geography and environment to begin with the very first topic which is chilka lake chilka lake is located in odisha it is the world's largest uh, it is the asia's largest and the world's second largest brackish water lake and therefore has been in news now forest of reed which is the nalabam island was again part of it and is important it has been designed as india's first wetland which is given under the ramsar convention in 1981 so that's about chilka lake extremely important and the river on which it is located is known as the daya river the next is the pongongso lake now this lake is in news since we have the dispute over the uh, the indo china region and this is the region which we have already covered in our class on geography of ladakh so refer that extremely important for this time now 3/4 of the uh, nearly 2/3 of this lake lies in the region of china This is a unique lake because actually it is a saline lake but it is still frozen during the winter months and it is again a endoric lake the kinds of lake the endoric lake and their classification we have covered in our previous class on types of lakes so refer that the next is the two important reserve forest of assam the bihali reserve forest and the orang national park bihali reserve forest is an important reserve forest where uh, caracas for cap de langurs were recently witnessed and this is the region which lies in the bishwanath district of assam it lies between two important uh, national parks one is the kasiranga national park the other is the nameri national park in the regions of sonitpur and around this is where we have seen uh, 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 the bihali reserved forest The next is Orang National Park. Now, in 1985, this was considered as a century. In 1999, this became a national park. This Orang National Park is important because gharial have been reintroduced in this region, and it lies on the north banks of Brahmaputra River. So, both of these on Brahmaputra River, the districts which are part of the Orang National Park are Sonitpur and uh, Darang. So, the Sonitpur and Darang. are the two districts which are part of the orang national park bo park both of them in assam the next is peach tiger reserve now five other tiger reserves along with peach tiger reserve are seen in madhya pradesh this was in news because the tiger known as collar wali which uh, was considered as a super mom gave birth to 29 cubs died in this uh, tiger reserve five other madhya pradesh tiger reserves are important which are kanha bandhavgarh पन्ना संजय धूबरी एंड सतपुरा सो दैट्स अगेन एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रीजन नाउ पेश टाइगर रिजर्व इज लोकेटेड इन द सियोनी एंड छिंदवर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश एंड दिस इज वेयर वी हैव द टाइगर क्रिटिकल टाइगर हैबिटेट विच इज सीन द नेक्स्ट इज Parambikulam Tiger Conservation Foundation has been awarded the Earth Guardian Award. Now this Earth Guardian Award has been given by NetWest. The NetWest group awarded this. Now this is a group of institutions and individuals working towards to subvert the climate change impact. Parambikulam Tiger Reserve is important. Now this tiger reserve is part of the Palakkad district of Kerala. So Palakkad in Kerala is where we have the Parambikulam Tiger Reserve, and this lies as part of the Sangam Hills, which lie between Annamalai and Nilipatti Hills. The next is Red Sandalwood. Red Sandalwood tree, also known as Red Sanders, is one of the trees which have been classified as near threatened. under the iucn classification so uh, it has been suffering from sandalwood spike disease now this spike disease affects the photoplasm which creates the the center for bacterial uh, growth and affects also as a plant to plant transmission red sandalwood is known for its medicinal property it is found in the rocky uh, fallow areas on Uh, red soil and it is specifically found in the eastern ghats of uh, south india so that's where it is located the next is pyrostria lalji pyrostria belongs to the coffee family and uh, it is originally from madagascar we have seen trees in india as well pyrostria uh, is the major group and here we say that it is one of the critically endangered species as per the uh iucn classification so it is the critically 
endangered species clear the next is uh, the bhar uh, bhari tala sushus tapani now bhari means heavy tala means head sushus means the uh, crocodile deity uh, from the egyptian gods and uh, this is one of the uh, carnivorous reptiles which is dated nearly 250 million years ago isi uh, indian statistical institute kolkata has seen one of the fossils and has been studying the specimens uh, most of the specimens hail from south africa which are nearly 250 million years old and the region from china and russia which are 250 240 million years old the next is nazafgarh jheel nazafgarh jheel is the region between delhi and haryana the region has declined significantly from 226 square kilometer to merely 7 square kilometer now this is one of the areas which is under wetland conservation and the river which drains here is the sahibi river so again important the next is the ramgarh vishdhari sanctuary of rajasthan now this is the fourth uh, tiger reserve in Rajasthan 52nd tiger reserve in the nation and this lies in the region of Bundi now what are the other tiger reserves so it's Ranthambore and this lies between the Ranthambore and the Mukundara hills so it's the Ranthambore uh, tiger reserve the Sariska tiger reserve and the Mukundara tiger reserve and this lies between the region of Ranthambore and Mukundara why there was a need for a new tiger reserve because the population of tigers are increasing and the places or the habitat where they can live are significantly decreasing so Mukundara is located in the region of Kota district Sariska in the region of Alwar and Ranthambore in the region of Savai Madhupur so those are the three districts where they are stretched and between the Ranthambore and the Mukundara which is Savai Madhupur and Kota we have the new uh, century for tiger reserve which is the Ramgarh Vishdhari century. The next is project Bold. Now this project is started in the Nichla, um, the, the Nichla Mandava region of Udaipur district in Rajasthan. It's mainly catering to the tribal people and for the bamboo cultivation. So there are two varieties of bamboo, the Tulda species and the polymorpha species both of these have been grown in the vacant lands of the gram panchayat and nearly 16 acre of the vacant land has been harnessed because of this bamboo cultivation under project bold the next is the unep and the wwf com common project which is the future for all the need for human wildlife coexistence now here we have seen that there has been 68 percent decline in the wildlife since 1970s also human wildlife conflict have increasing in have increased with increasing <clears throat> urbanization and uh, industrialization their spaces are decreasing and also when humans are living along with the wild animals their impact on the human livelihoods have been significant the next is cryptogramic garden this has been started in dehradun district in uttarakhand cryptograms what are they there are five classifications algae fungi fungi lichens ferns and bryophytes all of them are classified under cryptograms what are cryptograms they are non-seed non-flower uh, plants and therefore they are known as plants which do hidden reproduction they are one of the oldest species from the jurassic era which are seen the next is uh, cloud burst recently we witnessed lots of cloud burst activities during the monsoon months so cloud burst lightning and land uh, landslides all three of those are important topic we have covered this separately the link is available refer this video the next is red eared slider turtle it is native to united states and the north mexico area but it is one of the worst invasive species a very small species of turtle uh, invasive uh, it is a very small species of turtle uh, which is basically uh, uh, seen as uh, which can be fit into a even small matchbox. Uh, the only thing is those are green in color with red ear and therefore called as red ear slider turtle. They have a capability to multiply uh, very fast and eat a lot of plants. So northeast of India which is home to nearly 70 two percent of turtles and tortoise uh, this is where in the Brahmaputra we have seen a rapid increase in this red-eared slider turtles 
which is affecting the phytoplanktons of those region the next is embergis embergis is the 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 waxy flammable uh, solid material obtained from sperm whale which sperm whales which contribute to just 1% sperm whales are classified under vulnerable list on, in iucn classification and this material which is obtained from the digestive system this waxy material from the digestive system is used in traditional medicines in egypt it is used for incense and therefore is in huge demand just 1 kg of embergis sells for nearly 1 crore rupees so conservation becomes important and recently uh, the forest department see sees this embergis in the thiruvarur district in tamil nadu the next is the kwetara nr uh, Quill. Now this is the northernmost island being discovered in the Greenland area. Uh, it is made up of sea mud, uh, beds, uh, seabed mud and moraines and global warming has been impacting it significantly. The next is Kono National Park. Kono National Park is important. Cheetahs have been reintroduced in this park from two regions. One is Nambia and the next is South Africa. This is under the flagship program of the forest. The idea of this Kunu National Park is to understand that here during the Mughal period we have seen a significant decline in the cheetah population because it was considered as a royal uh, pleasure to just hunt the cheetahs and 10,000 cheetahs declined which significantly impacted the food uh, chain. Now with the national park which is selected here, this is a conservation area where the Kunu river flows. Uh, this Kunu river is a tributary to the Chambal river and it lies in the Chambal area. So uh, the Shiopur region or the Shiopur district of Madhya Pradesh is where the Kunu national park is located and this is one of the important locations for conservation of cheetah the next is milu deer this was considered as extinct under the iucn classification however in china recently milu deer has been found the most interesting thing is it rolls on the ground especially during the mating seasons and this also makes the soil very fertile however it had been hunted extensively for meat and uh, loss of the habitat for this milu deer resulted into the extinction but we have seen one of the species which was found recently Kesari Hind is a butterfly which is the state butterfly of Arunachal Pradesh. Again very very important it is uh, having a wing of around 90 to 120 millimeters very very small wing span found at a height of 6000 to 10,000 feet and it is classified in the near threatened IUCN classification so it is classified as near threatened IUCN classification. What does Kesare in Hind means? Kesare Hind means Emperor of India. So that's where the name comes from. <clears throat> The next is sea snout. Now these are mucilage or green surface that grows onto the uh, water body. Now this has been extensively found in the Sea of Marmara area. If we are focusing on the Russia-Ukraine uh, crisis, we know Ukraine is located on the north of the Black Sea and Black Sea connects with Sea of Marmara through one of the straits which is known as the Bosoporus Strait and then uh, Sea of Marmara connects with the Aegean Sea here through another strait which is known as Dardanelles Strait. So both of these straits are important. On the Bosophorus we are seeing that uh, there is a new bridge which is being developed and this bridge uh, would actually affect the sea snout or the mucilage which are existing there and it can significantly damage the marine ecosystem of this region. Ice fish is look found in the Weddell Sea which is the region of Antarctica and this is unique because it is white blooded uh, fish it lacks RBC and it has a large heart size this large heart size is important because uh, the water you have to take a lot of oxygen uh, from the oxygen rich waters and therefore ice fish usually have larger heart the next is yak the national research center for yak in Arunachal Pradesh is now talking about ensuring the uh, ensuring the yaks why it is native to the region of Tibet and China and is also found in the regions of Mongolia, Nepal and Central Asia. Now it can live in a temperature of minus 40 degrees Celsius. It is also used as a drought animal also used for milk. The Xiang tribe is a unique tribe that has been domesticating this yak since last 5000 years. So conservation of yak in ensuring this yak becomes important. The the 
next is olive riddle turtle uh, the indian coast guard started an operation olivia this operation olivia was to protect the smallest and the most abundant uh, turtles which is the olive riddle turtle which is found in these areas of uh, Odisha coast it is classified under vulnerable species of IUCN classification schedule one under the wildlife protection act and uh, they come here in the coast of Odisha for breeding and nesting from the months of November and December the next important thing is the manda man uh, manda buffalo manda buffalo is the GI tag which is given to this buffalo which belongs to the region of Koratpur, uh, Malkangiri and the uh, Nabarangam district. All of these are the areas where this manda buffalo is found. This manda buffalo is least prone to uh, any kind of diseases, infection and can actually live on a nil or low productive uh, input system. So therefore, uh, the GI tag would help in development in the international markets and the demand in the international market. The milk products, the ghee obtained from this buffalo is premiumly priced in the international market and is marketed. The next is the rhino vision. Now in Assam, between the Kaziranga and the uh, the Povitara Wildlife Century, we have seen a huge amount of rhino. However, under Vision 2020, we aim to increase the population to 3,000 rhino in seven districts of Assam. Uh, the idea is to include mainly uh, improve the population of one horned rhino. However, we have seen few double horned rhino cases as well. Uh, so those are the areas where we focus on wild to wild translocation uh, into the nearby centuries, for example, Manas, uh, the Bhutan, Urajopari, the Lakhowala or the Dibrusai Khowa. Uh, so those are the areas where rhinos have been moved as part of translocation. The next is the GI tag for mangoes, two important varieties. From Idiyar, we have the Idiyar chili uh, mango and from the Kutai Kaur, uh, Kutai Tor, we have the Kutai Tor uh, mango. Both of these belong to Kerala. They have been GI tagged so that they get better visibility and an international market. So those were some of the topics that we have discussed from geography and environment. Extremely important, the mock series is already live for your prelims available on the link below. Uh, video courses are also available for your UPSC preparation now. In case you have any questions or doubts, feel free to raise those. Have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you.